What's good, you guys? It's your girl Amber, A1 Lens Productions, and today I have another unboxing video for you guys. So today I'm unboxing my Glow Arc Light. Um, I've had this for a few months, and today I had a really last minute shoot, and I just wanted to get some good shots. So I decided that I will create this unboxing video for you guys. And also, I'm using this for the first time today. So as you can see, it comes in a very nice carrying case. It comes with three different reflectors, a silver fabric, white fabric, and a gold one. It comes with the poles and the brackets on the inside. Um, it was pretty easy to set up. It roughly took about 10 minutes or so. And what this is actually used for is headshots, fashion photography, beauty photography. And like I said, I have a beauty shoot today. So I just wanted to get some good shots for her. And that's why I decided to unbox this today. So as you can see, it comes with the curved poles. Here are the brackets that the actual reflector sits on. And what it does is it creates a nice warm glow and a catch light in your eyes. So on your face, it creates a warm glow and in your eyes, you have this nice catch light, kind of similar to when you're using a ring light, except it's obviously not a ring light and it covers your whole face and not just your eyes. So here I am opening it up. You need a light stand. Um, the bracket goes right on top. You wanna lower it to your body level so it's easy for you to put the curve reflector on. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the poles and connect them together. I found this to be the easiest way to put it together. And like I said, this is my first time using this today. So the results that I'm gonna get, I'm gonna show you guys. I actually did a very quick prompt to shoot with my daughter at the end of this video. So you guys can check those out. I think those photos came out really, really nice. The hardest thing about putting this together was it is kind of big and wobbly. And if you're on a really quick shoot, setting this up could take a little bit of extra time, but if you're okay with that, then I think this is a perfect tool to use for those headshots, beauty, close-up shots, all of that. So it was kind of hard for me to screw it in on both sides. So I ended up screwing it on down on one side, mainly because it's gonna stay in place. I'm not really gonna be moving it at all. So this is the finished uh, product, what it looks like all put together. Here's my daughter. She took a few um, beautiful pictures. I really, really love how they came out. So check these out. This first one, I used a f-stop of 1.8 iso 160 1 100 of a second and as you can see that nice catch light is in her eyes and there's a warm fresh glow on her face here's another one same settings i didn't change anything i think they came out really really nice so i can see myself using this on different beauty shoots and fashion shoots and things of that nature i really really like how the glow came on her face and this isn't a perfect lighting setup I mean I wouldn't set up a ring light in a flash with this light you know for a professional shoot obviously but I already have my ring light set up so that's why I'm using that and she really really loved the photos too so I thought they came out really nice like I said there was a warm glow and a nice catch light in her eyes which I really appreciated so if you're setting up with like one flash and one light I mean, obviously you could use something like this for a really quick session. But yeah, I really love how these photos came out. Um, I'm gonna leave the link for this curve reflector below so you guys can go and grab that. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.